What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes news for April 22nd, 2021. So, we got some, we got the Idle Week coming up, but there is a special Moonlight gift, another VIP event where you spend money during this event, and you can get some really cool stuff. Again, this might be the perfect time to recharge all of your packages, your, essentially your privilege cards for a long time if you keep on playing and on playing. Because you can get an artifact, you can get a lot of relics, you can get hero copies, you can get a lot of really good stuff. So, let's jump into it, let's talk about the news, let's go over the new special pop-up packs as well. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, do it right now. I'll wait. Nah, I won't. Let's go. So let's start it off with the daily rewards. As always, we're going to be getting 100 Tang Hulu and one Super Wishing Coin. So same old, same old there. As far as the rewards go, uh, most of it are big stay away from, in my opinion. So the skin, definitely stay away from the skin. Unimax, stay away from that as well. Flora, stay far away from that. Forces. I mean, probably should stay away from him unless you're like, two copies away from him and you're going to get an e5 i don't think it's worth getting him he's really not in the meta at all it's really sad to see that really the chinese new year hero and the christmas hero neither of them are really making any effect on the meta right now definitely not two silago four c's maybe depending on your your server meta if you got a bunch of rogans not many void imprinted heroes he could do some damage and of course 3600 for that demon bell that is a really good artifact to go for if you are going to push for splendid demon bells you're gonna need two of them for void vortex i probably sound like a broken record now from all the account tune-ups and all the videos you're gonna need eight of them if you want to progress past explorer maybe valiant you could get to valiant without them if you have like really great other artifacts and heroes but you're most likely gonna need it if you don't want to use universal crystal shards or spend money then of course go for the profit orbs those are always the safe bet we do have the wishing fountain event you can do it up to nine times jara is the final reward jara should technically be the next transcendence hero you get some relics you get some super wishing coins you get some profit orbs but again there's really no special bonus for doing it just yet you might want to keep saving at least nine loops. If you're over nine loops, you could probably start afford to actually do some of these loops here, get a little bit of resources, not too bad. We do have a special event called the Moonlight Gift. This is what I was talking about. It is a VIP point spending type event. So this basically is you need to spend this many VIP points during the event to unlock each one of these. At 2,500 points, which is about 50 USD, you're going to be getting 30 relics and a luxury five-star hero selection chest. At 5,000 points, which is 100 USD, you're going to be getting also 40 relics and one light and dark luxury five-star hero chest. Those each can be obtained once. Two luxury chests include heroes that are not in the Glorious Temple, which means that chest should have like Eloise and Fiona in it, and it should also have Tusi Lago in it for the light and dark one, as well as Forces if he's not in the Relic Shop yet. I, I imagine he is, right? I imagine he is. And then for $150, you are going to be getting 80 Relics and a Mysterious Artifact Chest. No Snow Heart still. So they're really not giving Snow Heart out at all. But if you're looking to spend money, I mean, for spenders, this is a good value deal. <laughs> I got to do that every time. Good DH value because $150 for uh, Mysterious Artifact Selection Chest is a good value for spenders out there. For most people, not a good deal whatsoever, but it is something to think about. We do have Great Doors Blessing. Uh, yeah, it's kind of kind of not looking right on here, but yeah, get your residence gear if you have not already got it this week. We do have the value packages, so if you are looking to get those VIP rewards, you're going to want to buy like the top two packs each once uh, if you are a spender and you need gems this, these are now the best packs to buy gems with Ten thousand gems in the 100 dollars one plus you're getting those 600 resources you're getting 150 wishing coins and you're getting 10 profit orbs 
it's kind of hard to beat this is like kind of one of the better packs now for gems if you're looking for gems and i know a lot of those whales and mid spenders out there need gems desperately so the value packages are actually pretty decent and then lastly the function update here they're optimizing the map of the void arc so i don't know exactly what they're talking about there but it is something to consider. And I did say I'd start letting you guys know when they are holding contests. They are actually having an art exhibition contest. Post your artworks on Twitter or Instagram with hashtag Idle Heroes Art. Leave your platform, server ID, and at Idle Heroes Official. Your art should be originally created. Plagiarizing works will not be permitted and will not win. You give us the authorization to share your art officially with the community, aka on all their social medias, and Idle Heroes official reserves the right for final decision and interpretation. The winners will be getting 5,000 gems, so that is a very decent reward compared to some of the ones in the past. 5,000, so if you are artistic, if you got that little artistic bug in you, go check it out. Could be uh could be something cool to see as well. So make sure you go enter that. Next up, we need to go over some of the new pop-up packages and talk about if they're actually worth it. So with the latest update, we do have updated pop-up packs, which are kind of nice to see in this game, in my opinion. Some people might not like it because you know it's, it's more for spenders and all honestly, but I want to go over, talk about the ones we've seen, and tell you if they're actually worth spending, depending on your level. Um, this one here is the artifact boost. You can get a thousand artifact dust. It's pretty inexpensive, five bucks. If you are a low spender, you're early game, and you really want to max out an artifact, it's not the worst deal in the world. Uh, this one looks pretty solid ish. Uh, this one's the hero shard boost. So for $10, you can get essentially two five-star heroes, a thousand gems. Uh, what is that? 10 million gold and 10,000 promotion stones. It's decent. I mean, it's okay. But for, uh, for essentially 50 bucks, you're getting quite a bit more. Now, the left one doesn't seem like that great of an offer. But if you're a mid-spender out there, you want to spend 50 bucks in the game while this one pops up. That's actually not too bad because that's actually 25 star heroes. 5,000 gems, which is usually part of a $100 pack, 150 million gold, and 150 million spirit. That's nothing to scoff at, especially when you're dying for resources in the earlier game if you are really pushing progress. So, yeah, that one could be a decent value. We do have the Heroes Growth Package. This one's a pretty decent value as well. 50 million spirit and 75 million gold. 10 bucks, usually you get less than that, I believe, in the weekly one in the normal cool event so this one's not too bad of a deal there is a light and dark hero selection chest and a skin chest i believe that skin chest has every skin in the game which does kind of make it premium um it includes festival skins that are no longer really given out so for 70 euro i'm guessing i don't know how much that's going to be in usd sadly but I mean, it seems like a decent value for spenders. If you're not a spender, then that's a little bit different, I think. Let me see if I have a picture of US. Oh, actually, it's $69.99 USD as well. That's interesting. It's the same exact price. You don't normally see that. That's pretty much the same price old skins used to be by themselves. If you guys remember the old Wishing Fountain events? would have the top package have a brand new skin. I mean, that's, that's pretty decent. There is a quad hero selection chest, so I don't understand this quad hero part of it, but it's 100 million gold, 100 million spirit. It's a hero selection chest, which is just like the normal hero selection chest, and a regular skin chest. It's an okay value. I guess it depends on what hero you're building. It could be a nice boost to you. Again, again, these are these are for spenders. There is a dust gift package. So two million gold and two thousand dust for a dollar. Is that good? I mean, two thousand dust is not a lot. I don't know. Probably not worth it in all honesty. But it is a buck if you're a low spender. It's a buck. Might want to throw it that way if it helps you out. There is the Glorious Relics Blessing. This one you get for beating Sealand 20 on any mode. You get 50 Relics in a 6-star Puppet Chest. 
non light and dark six star puppets and then of course the big one there for a hundred dollars is 150 relics and a nine star puppet you're basically trading an extra nine star puppet for 150 relics so you have to decide if that's worth it to you otherwise you can just buy a 10 star puppet for a hundred dollars normally uh you got to decide how much you value relics and i think the last one of course is just the normal one anytime you make any purchase whatsoever in game this guy right here is going to be your rewards you can pick either a garuda unimax Horus, or kathuga again Horus, probably the best one you can pick garuda right up there with him kathuga and unimax not really great so try to stay away from those so that about wraps it up. Another nice idle week on the way. I'm excited to see what the event preview is. My guess is actually, are we coming up to another hero next week? Not not tonight, but next week. I think we are. We've had Imps Adventure. We've had a Profit Orb week. I think we're coming back around to Heroic Trolls. So maybe it's a Forest Hero. Maybe it's a Shadow Hero? No, we had Eloise. It's going to be either an Abyss or Forest Hero coming up this next week. So I'm really excited to see who it is and if they do anything to the PvP meta. Or it's just another one of those God Tier first heroes to build. I love those. Those are actually more exciting than PvP heroes in my opinion. The more amazing early game heroes there are, the better the game is going to be for most average players. So hopefully that works out. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. We're still growing so fast. I can't wait to hit 50,000 subscribers. I think uh, you guys know, well, you know, Barry Gaming is now a father. Three, almost three weeks. Actually, wow, it's almost three weeks now since she was born. I'm thinking about doing a baby reveal. I don't know. I don't really want to post her too much on YouTube and Twitch and all that. But maybe at 50,000 subscribers, we do a baby reveal and you guys get to see the new baby Barry Gaming. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you have not yet. I appreciate all the support. Thank you so much. And I'll see you guys next time.